what's up YouTube comics with colors here with the uh, the whole part of my video um, that my uh, wife picked up for me uh, so she was on a bidding site um, she bid on a bunch of books um, about 176 and uh, yeah I'm just gonna flip the room as quick as I can and uh, show you guys what I got I don't know if there's anything crazy um, inside here, um, but uh, yeah, if you guys see something that you know, that you guys probably know better than me, um, I just pick the stuff up if it's cheap, and then I, you know, slowly work my way through it, going on the internet trying to check the stuff. So we'll just get get right to it. Uh, try and keep this video uh, relatively short, hopefully. So uh, first one, uh, Wonder Man uh, issue one, and Wonder Man issue two. Um, I believe this one has a couple first appearances and so does uh, Wonder Man 1. Um, Wonder Man 4 uh, is the first uh, appearance of this villain, uh, Splice. Um, yeah, that's as far as I know for that. Um, my sidekick is in bed, um, so if you're not joining me uh, for this video, as well as I'm doing this on my phone, uh, my iPads are acting up a little bit. So at the end of this, I'll let you guys know how much uh, my wife paid for all this stuff. And uh, yeah. So here's Suicide Squad, um, issue number 10, Suicide Squad 12, and another 12, Suicide Squad issue 14, another issue 14, Suicide Squad issue 17, Suicide Squad issue 19, Suicide Squad issue 43. I'll try to put these back in my box because they don't seem to stay up very well. Mm. Next batch here is Superman, Man of Steel, issue 12. Um, is it Doom Patrol, uh, issue 4. The Max, issue 2. The New Warriors, uh, issue 11. Uh, the New Warriors, issue 12. Oops, sorry. Marvel The Pit. Uh, Marvel Select Inner Demons. Uh, this cover is like plastic um, in here, so I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X, issue 83. Um, Star Trek, issue 2. Batman 443, I think this is the third copy I have of this. I don't know if I have this. Batman 444. And 445. Uh, some more Superman. Uh, Superman... Oh god, what is issue is this? Uh, oh, issue 184. Uh, Superman Man of Steel issue 8. The Adventures of Superman, issue 502. Uh, year 1, Superman, issue 7. Um, Superman Family, uh, issue 189. Uh, if this was mint, this would be worth some money, but um, it's a pretty big comic. Uh, did a spine roll on it. Uh, but whatever. Uh, Deathstroke the Terminator, issue 3. And Deathstroke the Terminator issue 5. Oh, then we got Deathstroke the Terminator oops, issue 7. Let me move this pile over. Uh, Batman Beyond issue 15. Just try to move some of these now. It's going to get a little messy in here. Um, yeah, so my wife just lately has been getting into comics a bit, not really for the reading purposes, but uh, just for the co cover uh, purposes. She just likes looking at the covers. If they look cool, she'll buy it, or she'll tell me to buy it. Um, but she's a good enough wife that she does keep an eye out. She sees a good deal on comics, like lots of comics, um, to try and get them. So, anyways, um, The Punisher, issue 28. Issue 29, Issue 30, Issue 31, Issue 32, 
issue 33, issue 49, that's it for the Punishers that I got. And I got some Wildcats, uh, Wildcats Adventures issue 2, Wildcat Adventures uh, number 9, and another number 9, uh, Wildcat Adventures number 10, um, Wildcat Covert, oh, what the heck was it called? Covert something teams, I can't remember. Um, I think it's a Jim Lee story. Uh, maybe just Jim Lee art, I can't remember. Uh, but issue number two with the foil cover, really flashy. I mean, if you like the uh, 90s stuff, there you go. It's almost like in the 70s with the disco. Uh, issue number four, issue number 12. Issue number 14, issue number 15, issue number 16, issue number 22, issue 23, which, you know, almost is like, looks like Spawn kind of stuff. Um, but, I mean, it is Image, so I could totally see there being Spawn stuff in there. Uh, dropping my comics everywhere. When you put them in poly bags, they don't actually sit very well uh, on top of each other, so. Um, I guess before I do this wild store, I got this uh, top cow, uh, David Finch, or Dave Finch, um, Ascension, issue number two. Really cool uh, cover on it. Uh, looks really neat. Anyways, moving along. Uh, Wildstorm uh, issue one and then Wildstorm issue two and then Night Stalkers two. Uh, quite the amount of books. I mean, I bought uh, a bunch of bags and boards, and then my wife went and brought me this pile of books. And then the next thing I know, I'm out of bags and boards again. It just seems to be a never-ending battle. Um, this is Ultraman. Um, I believe this is the... Uh, what should I call it? Um, Virgin cover, sorry. I don't know why the heck I couldn't remember. Uh, anyways. Now, this is a neat looking one. Hero Hotline. Um, yeah, looked a little weird. Uh, Dragonlance. Team 7. Now, I don't collect any war stuff. If anyone does want these or they want to trade for something, I mean, you guys are going to know trading better than me. Um, let me know, because uh, I'm not really into the whole war gig. Um, glares are in the nuts. Um, yeah, this one, Team 7, Issue 3, I got two of them. Um, Divine Right, uh, Jim Lee Yard on this. Uh, looks kind of neat. That's Issue 1 um, and Issue 3. Uh, Wolfman, Robert Kirkman, uh, number two, or the Astounding Wolfman, sorry. Uh, number four, number six, and I don't even know what this is, Frex, Ultraverse, uh, Malibu Comics, uh, some more War Comics, uh, Eternal Warrior, uh, issue 11, another issue 11. Sad thing is, I'm going to run out of room in my short box pretty quick here for putting all these comics back in. Uh, trying to get rid of the glare as best I can here. Still keep some light. Um, the Man with No Name. Looks like Clint Eastwood. Um, issue number one. Dynamite Comics. Got a bunch of these two. Impulse. Uh, Impulse plus Gross Out. Uh, number one. I think this. I believe, I believe this is a one shot. Uh, Impulse and the Atom, double shot. Number one. Uh, Impulse issue 16. 15. No, oh, I think these are gonna go backwards. Oh no, maybe just a little out of order. Impulse 18. 62. 63. 64. And then 66. 
Oh, there's still more impulse coming here. Um, there's a couple things I got decent runs of, like the Punisher I got to an okay amount of. Um, and then uh, I got a bunch of impulse ones too. Um, impulse number 79, uh, Joker's Last Laugh. Uh, he does show up in this, but he shows up as like a cloud or something. So uh, Impulse 81. And this is Impulse Annual 1. And Impulse Annual 2. Uh, I don't know if this is a magazine or a comic. I didn't really flip through it. Um, I have no idea. It says number one of four. My wife liked this one. Uh, she's a big fan of Ghost Whisper. And when it happened to be in the pile, so that was pretty cool. And this is issue four. Um, X-Men. Oh, what is this? Uh, the Further Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix. Uh, the origin of Mr. Sinister begins here. Um the heck is that uh, heroes something young allies uh, issue number one uncanny origins issue or featuring fire lord which is issue four and uncanny origins featuring nightcrawler issue eight uh, omega men uh, I don't know if this is the first issue might be I'm not sure um, black canary issue two um, Manhunter, issue one. Uh, Telos, issue one, and I got two of those. And then... Telos, issue three. Almost out of space. Savage Dragon issue number nine. Uh, this was a cool cover. Uh, it's really nice looking. Uh, was it Aspen Showcase? Uh, Grace number one. Um, don't know what year this was printed, but uh, looks pretty cool. Vince Hernandez and Santa Takita. Mm. Really nice cover though. Uh, John Burns Next Men. I saw something with John Byrne's Next Men in someone's video, uh, but they had a first appearance. This is issue number 13. I don't know if there's anything special about it. Uh, got a whole bunch of these. Uh, Resurrection Man, issue 4, issue 5, issue 6, and I got 1, 2, 3 copies. Resurrection Man, Issue 8. Resurrection Man Meets Hitman, Issue 9. Resurrection Man, Issue 10. And Resurrection Man, Issue 11. Now, I'm not sure if I have more of those. They may show up in these next couple piles that I uh, pull out here, but uh, we'll have to see, because uh, I don't actually remember. Um... I know I got a pinhead too, which must be under the other pile. Uh, maybe I'll switch it up. My arm's actually getting tired of holding my phone. Uh, trying to maneuver this. Maybe we'll go from this side here. This big pile. Oh. Sorry, sorry. That's a pretty heavy pile. So, I got a fairly big run of uh, ca uh, Countdown. DC's Countdown, uh, so Countdown Special, uh, with Commandy, Countdown Issue 6, Countdown Issue 7, Countdown Issue 16, Countdown 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 
50s Joker. It's a pretty neat level. And then 51, this is the last issue, so I, I got a fairly fat run of uh, that there. Um, Inhumans, I think this is volume 2, maybe, or 3, I can't, I can't remember. Uh, so that's issue 1, issue 3, issue 6, issue 7, these all look like tattoos. <laughs> Batman and Robin, issue number, uh, I want to say one, looks like a one shot maybe, feels a little big, I'm going to guess it's a one shot, it's just uh, issue one, uh, The Kindred, I think this might be the Jim Lee story, it's not Jim Lee art, but I think it's a Jim Lee story, because uh, he's not the one doing the cover either, so that was issue two, issue three, issue four. Uh, Morbius the Living Vampire vs. Spider-Man number 3 uh, Marvel Big Shot uh, Spotlight this isn't really a comic, it's just like Spotlight sees three characters I kind of flip through it, just gives some info and uh, whatnot on it uh, Black Warrior Nun Black and White, issue number 7 uh, it seems like every time I buy some kind of comic a lot I get something like this um, just a weird looking thing Jack Staff, Britain's Greatest Hero uh, this is the most destructive weapon ever developed by the British Army, Hurricane, and it just hit Castle Town. Then I got these, Star Wars Episode 1, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, this is drawn cover, and uh, that's the picture. And then, um, Gwygon Jin. Uh, got a, what is this, Death Blow, issue number 1. Red foil name, uh, looks kind of neat. Uh, Judge Dredd, uh, Legends of the Law, issue 3, and Judge Dredd, issue number 9. Uh, what is this? Valor, DOA, uh, issue 17. There it is, Pinhead number 2. And pull the last pile of books here. Try and not dump all my books all over the floor. Pinhead number three, Clyde Barker pinhead. Uh, Vanguard issue four. Impact Comics the what was that the Vi three, the Gauntlet. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, Miller and McGivens Nemesis issue number three. Bloodstrike, issue number eight. Uh, Siren, issue number one. Uh, Tenth Muse, issue number three, cover A. And this is cover B. Phantom Force, issue number two. Uh, Extreme Prejudice, Brigade, issue number nine. Uh, Avengers 368 and Avengers 369. There's another flashy cover. Avengers West Coast uh, 101. The Phoenix Resurrection Chapter 4, Issue Number 2. Ultraverse Hard Case Number 10. Winona Earp Issue Number 1 and Issue Number 2. Supreme Apocalypse, issue number 30. Supreme Apocalypse, or this is just Supreme, and it looks like another maybe Virgin cover, I'm not sure. Uh, issue number 35. And Supreme, issue number 37. Then the last one is Malibu Comics, uh, Mortal Kombat, issue number 1. So, that wasn't that bad, I guess. That's a uh, 176 comics and my wife picked them up for $56 so I paid 32 cents a comic um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them all uh, I may try and trade a bunch of them uh, just having the white boxers driving me crazy um, so yeah I may put up a trade video um, see if I want to unload some of this stuff I think uh, this weekend in total uh, with 
this $56 haul, I think I picked up 200 and 207 comics. Um, yeah, but I mean, if they're relatively cheap, I don't mind just keeping whatever. I let my collection grow and then change stuff from there. But uh, if you guys see something that uh, you know more about, it's going to take me a while to go through all these and research them all. But uh, if there's something you do know about one of them, maybe you guys could let me know. Um, and thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm pretty sure my uh, sidekick will be in my next video. Uh, that's all I got. See you.